Okay, people, no time to waste. I've got new tool bargains. I've got Christmas expense rants. I've got restorations galore. And some rare tools from my collection for sale. Right, people, what I've got here is my latest edition. I buy one of these about every three years. There's so much stuff in here. Let me just read to you what the packet says, all right? Now, my reading skills are not my best attribute, so please bear with me and don't take the piss in the comments, all right? Right, here we go. So, we've got a 204 piece set made by Silverline containing various drill bits, including wood bits, metal bits, and masonry bits, some hex drives, a screwdriver holder, oh, a magnetic screwdriver holder, many screwdriver bits, and lots of other assorted items. Shall we open this up now and see everything that's in there? I mean, even that's not bad, but you get... So like every spare drill bit, tool, punches that. They're not going to be best quality. And you got the whole cutters, look, the whole uh, four different size hole cutter. Countersink. Wood bits, spade bits, long spade bits. I mean, fucking hell, the, what would that cost you for some long spade? You're looking at £10 just for four of those normally. Uh, it's such good value. They're three or four pound on their own. And you've got all the long screwdriver bits. You've got all the hex drivers I always lose them you got um, torque not sure what these are do not know what they are plastic things and they've got to be fairly important aren't they anybody know what they are tell me because uh, I don't know they're quite important they take up a lot of space in the box don't they they're uh, get five three or four of every size drill bit over there so when i started looking i was seeing these for 59.95 and eventually i found one priced at 35 pound and a penny so i've done the sensible thing and stuck it on my watch list why because two hours after i put it on my watch list i got this offer from the seller now i took it now that's a saving of five pounds. That's about 15%. This happens an awful lot. Use your watch list to get a discount. Now I love Christmas. We all know I love wrapping things up. So Christmas is fantastic. But it's finding the presents. I mean my daughter this year. She asked for one of these. It took me ages to find one. My wife asked for something different. And my son, I, it took me four hours to chop all these coins up, still. Right then, so what have we got here? This will make an interesting one. This is the basis of the next few minutes. Don't like it, move on. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Quite wrench. Unusual quite wrench. This is a there we go. inch fabrics. Now, hmm, the finish on these. This is this is the this is the factory finish, by the way. Alright. I mean I don't like it. I don't like some of the things they do. But there we are. Fabrics only lasted a few years. I shall put the years up here at the bottom of the screen because record bought them. They see something, they were onto a winner, so they bought them out. 
Right, so this is a Fabrics uh, 440 14 pipe wrench. Been waiting for that to turn up for absolutely ages now to go with the Fabrics 440 12. And my fabrics 440 10. So you have an overhead look. Green. All the way down, they didn't care. They didn't care about what looks good and what don't. Now, many, many ages ago, I did these in a lovely Reseda green. I mean, I don't know what you think is better, original or improvement. I like this receiver green. I like that finish. Right, if I was more professional, I probably wouldn't have it on a green background, would I? I happen to like that. But purists out there probably like this. So what I'm going to do now for your uh, wondrous amazement of watching this today, I'm going to take these back to original, <laughs> including I'm going to spray these exactly like they were, sprayed all the way down there. Just leave that in metal. Ugh. 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 Personally, I know what I prefer. The spring goes in here. So it's got green paint up the front of that as well, fuck you know. Right, should we take this one over? I mean that's or should we take the worst one over? What do you wanna see? That's the worstest, worstest one, look. Should we do the worstest? Just because of the way they're made, these are never going to look good in just bare metal. Oh, I've got down here in the front is a weld. The worst weld is on this big one that goes everywhere, look. I suppose, really, I should leave it if I'm doing original. So I'm going to take this over now. Clean these up a bit better. I think it's only right that the bits I am leaving in metal, I get as good as possible. And that includes the far recesses of the jaws. The wire wheel would not get in this far and remove this green paint, so I have the little one to do it. And I'm just going to finish off on the inside with the carburetor wire brush. And everything that's getting sprayed is going to get a wipe down with wipe spirit to remove any final dirt or grease that my fingers have put on there. I'm going to put that on the heater. Let that heat up for a little while. Dry itself off, heat itself up. And we'll come back to that later. Sea pot that really is. It's so black and thin now, it's unbelievable. Well, I've got some clamps. They've been in here. I do not even know how long they've been in here. Well, I do one at a time. Should we go an overhead shot? And that is, that's the, uh, uh, that's Cal the black over of Calcutta, isn't it? That, that's, uh, that is King Black.
Okay, so nothing's quite as easy as my mechanics makes it look on telly. When you actually try it, the wire wheel can't get in all the tiny little nooks and crannies. That's where you need these little drill attachments. And I go through about four or five different shape ones here. Yeah? I go around everything, I'm getting them everywhere. Again, the best one is the carburetor wire brush attachment. But, as you can see, there is still rust left in these gaps. So, it's onto the 3M fibre wheel. And that literally takes it off in seconds. As you will now see. These wheels are like a touch of tall cleaning magic. But, when I first started buying them three years ago, they were three quid for this pack of four bolted on there. Now they're a tenner. Now these two come out surprisingly different. Do you prefer the bottom one or the top one? One's shiny and one's not. Right, if they interest you, they're on eBay. Right, we'll move on now. Wax and green paint on them Fabrexes. They can sit in the spray booth and the heads I've just left hanging around the shop, look. These came off of eBay, Amazon, eBay, Amazon, I don't know, one or the other. So I'll just put a bit of these on the screen at the price, because these were fantastic. Right, these are little polishing wheels, look. I might use these on some future products, project projects. They're little 3M wheels, like me big one, but they're little ones. Alright. So I'm going to guess, because I don't know, never had them before, but I see them, they're about 8 quid. I'll put the price on. I'm going to guess the colours are different, yet they do feel different. There's four different colours in there. We'll put that up on the screen, what they cost and how many there is. But bear in mind, I only buy things if they're a bargain. I might see if I can do my eBay, eBay, what is it, an eBay affinity link? I don't know. I'll put the link down below, and if you click it, I'll get a percentage, I suppose. I don't fucking know. What have we got here? These are for the Dremel. Because I ain't got none. As you would have seen the other day in that Stanley... Breast drill restoration, the ones I had were bald. I hope that's not a pubic hair. Oh, fucking hell, is it? God, if that's a pubic hair, that come off a fucking giant. Ugh. You know, just in case that was a fucking pubic hair. <laughs> fucking hell, shit we get, eh? Ugh. Sterilise me fucking hands now. Right, so what we got in here? So what we've got is round ones, little dainty ones, bigger ones. Is that it? Is that fucking it? One, two, yeah. But that's all we need really, isn't it? You can you can do anything with all of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, took it that one. Yeah, got that one. Right, so we've got all them. Obviously these are not Dremel brand. They're just generic, so don't know how long they'll last. Don't know, might put the Dremel on flat out and all the bloody bristles fly out. We will just have to see. Right, so out of that bag there we've lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've lost a hair out of every other two as we go. Fuck you now. Next day, and uh, had these on the heater. And they come out nice. Yeah, let's have a close up look at them, shall we? 
ain't they come out nice? Right. So they'll be going on eBay shortly, I do believe, because they've come up as a nice, uh, nice, genuine, original set like that. And unusually for me, I like the originals I've just done more than those other ones I've done in the Receder Green. What's your favourite? Tell me in the comments. People, a moan. <sighs> Plummet, skip, skip, skip. No, a moan, seriously. I, I was at work the other day, overhearing some other drivers' comments, moaning about how much money they've got to spend at Christmas because they, they're kids who are quite young kids, you know, and want computers. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds they're talking. Well, my 10-year-old wants a computer. He needs a computer for school. I never thought I'd say that, that he needs one, but they do now. They need computers to keep up with the schoolwork and stuff. And, uh, well, he's quite intelligent. He's a good boy, top of his class. So he, he said, can I have a touchscreen one day? I went, touchscreen? <laughs> so uh, I got him a touchscreen computer. Uh, oh, it's not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, is it? You know... You don't go out and have to buy a brand new car. I mean, sometimes you buy a car, it's had 10 other owners. How often do you go out and buy a brand new car? You have to have a brand new car. You don't, do you? It still gets you from A to B. Now, this computer will connect to the internet and do everything he wants at 10 years old, right? And it's got touchscreen what he wanted, right? Now, because he's got that, my little girl wants one as well, and she's seven. Right, so do I spend hundreds and hundreds? No, I fucking don't. So she got this one, right? Job done, sorted. Uh, that's 60 quid for two computers that work perfectly well. 60 quid and two very happy children. And I'm £540 better off than the twat at work. Right, the wife said she wants underwear. Good old eBay. So that's that bit done. That's those. Oh, and a delivery. I'm one of these down because I sent it to. A, uh, I sent it to a very deserving cause. Oh, oh, that's a bit. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, there we are. Bollocking bollocks. Right. Well. I weren't going to do a repair. Didn't see that in the picture, just see the price. Here's the price. That won't be the price you pay when you buy it off me. Again. 1944. Oh, this goes together like this, in case you don't know. Alright. That is an entrenching tool. It's not a miniature pickaxe. It's an entrenching tool. World War II. Uh, issued to the fourth man of every squad. The other's got foldable shovels. Nineteen forty-five. Oh, I'm getting the set. I oh, need number four for all. Uh, it didn't make them for the early years. So nineteen forty-four, nineteen forty-five. Should we get over here for them? So there's my one. I want to tap it in. I mean, oh, fuck me. Here's a. Alright, that's in. There's my one, that's nice in the hand, that is. I did have a better one than this, but I got an offer too good to uh, too good to refuse of £75. So I sold my one that's had the olive green on here. There we are. Now this one, a 1940... 1944, you age them, because they're not hard to age. Much easier to age one of these than a turtle. It's there, 1944. So... We'll take that out. All I've done with this was I cleaned it and waxed it. That was it. All right, and that's a Dymaloy. Highly sought after in the collection world. As far as I'm aware, there's only two of us Dymaloy collectors in the world. Me and John. And uh, there's only two of us with those. So this handle, oh, fucking hell. This handle's got a big old split in it. Look at that. Get a screwdriver down there. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to use for this one because I can't find me expanding philotropic fucking watch it.
Yeah. Waste not, want not. This is the same as that yellow glue you get in America. This is Evo stick. It's very good wood glue. This you use it outside. So uh, that's how I know it's very good wood glue. Making a handle, Jim. Don't want to make a handle. This is 77 years old. An important part of history. There we go, isn't that lovely? Bit of paper towel. And that can go and sit in the vice overnight. Mm, okay. Messy fucker. Anybody see Scoutcrafter the other day, you'll know that he'd done a lovely pair of slip joint pliers where he cut the, shaved the end down a bit, uh, shaved the side down a bit so that he could get nails. Well, here's a, here's a shitty pair of um, diamond, diamond cork slip joints. So let's have a look at them. Now these are very rusty and horrible and the chrome's missing in quite a few places. So this is going to be a full strip down to metal. You don't want to see all the wire wheel. We'll just see how it strips down, shall we? And look at that. Load of rust, dust and crud. And click my fingers. I really enjoyed doing these. And they repaid me by coming up like new. What a quality tool these must be to come back from what they were and finish up like this. Mr. Evans, I'd like to address your comment. I know I need a clean up. I'm, I'm desperately in need of a clean up. Uh, I started having a clean up, then I got really, really ill with the flu. I took some time off on holiday just to clean up, but I had the flu all the way through it. Um, so part of me cleaning up, I'm selling stuff off. I've got I get deliveries coming. I mean, I was getting, I was getting to the point where I was getting five, six, ten items a day coming in. I'd unload them, take a video, whack them on the bench, and they're buried. They're still there from two years ago, buried. And then I move them from one bench and bury another bench. So, thank you for pointing it out. Um, I will get round to it at some point. I'm slowly, slowly clearing. I'm selling items. I'm going to have space. Should gain a few shells clearing the vices off. Yes, their vices. The little Redida, two five ones up for sale. Even the Parkinson ball base vices up for sale. Uh, my record lava record up for sale. Miss Stanley, uh, sweetheart vice up for sale. I mean, I'm looking at and I'm thinking, one, there's a lot of money there. They're taking up a lot of space. I've done it. I've got over a hundred. Get rid of them. Fuck it, eh? Even the little uh, Mohawk and Shelburne up for sale. No one knows what it is. No one will pay the money. So I'll end up keeping it. But there we are. Uh, people moan I put the York Vice on eBay too. Dear. It's now on eBay for £7 less than what an unrestored one sold for. So, you know, it's still not sold. I'm ruining them by restoring them, am I? Yeah, clear some space off. Who needs a hundred? What sort of maniac, John, has a hundred of one thing? Especially when it's vices. I mean, come on. Not one of you told me that I was going a bit mentally unbalanced by having so many vice. Yeah? I mean, who has a tall wall that weighs six tons? Come on. Right.
I'm going to leave you with this lovely restoration that I never actually released on this channel. Um, I did put it out on my Handy Dad channel, link to that underneath, link at the end. But I never put it on here. So, people, this, uh, if I watch this video, I'd go, bollocks, mate, they ain't the same ones. But if you look carefully at the finish or through, you can see the toe caps. Because the toe caps are so fucked that you can still see it very slightly at the end. Nothing I could do with them, all right? So enjoy this because uh, you won't get none of them fakers doing a job like this, all right? Hi, yeah. Today we're taking me four-year-old work boots that I've worn every day for work and at home and everything I do and turning them back into this. Not sure if you can see the issue with the soles there, but at the front, they have detached. You can pull them down like a little lip. You can actually even get your finger in there. So, that is the first thing to be addressed. This bit can be a bit messy. So we're going to use some masking tape and some black silicone. One. I ain't got much in here. So we want to use it a little bit sparingly. off and see how neat that was actually you see how much didn't come over Now they, they are going to get left already, I don't know if you can see, I mean, once I get a bit of colour back on here, that will blend in much better, won't it? I'm going to follow that round with my thumb now and uh, take off that little raised bit. There we go. I mean, why buy another pair of boots if you don't have to? Now we're using boot cleaner, right? This brush has got a rubber side and a bristle side and a, another rubber side. So it's, it's all good, isn't it? It's coming in a little kit from the cheap shop.
Now already, after just a quick clean, they're looking a lot, lot better. Now we're going to put these in front of a 2 kilowatt heat on a low setting, up, just to dry warm. them out, heat them up, and as you heat them up, the lever opens itself up and becomes more receptive for the next stage. Which is beeswax. Going to get some moisture back into this lever with beeswax. Give it a good old helping all over the boot. And once the boots are covered, we're going to use a blowtorch on a low setting just to heat up the wax and melt it into every little crack and crevice going. Right, once this is dried, it's time for the shoe polish. With a brush because then you get it in all the pores and the cracks not with a bit of cloth doesn't matter how rough you put this on Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Same this side. Touch the flame onto the polish pot and it just melts the surface. Right, then use this wet. Paint it on. Now we're trying to build up as many layers of polish as possible. Now it's time to move on to a way most of you will already know. A bit of polish on the brush and brush it in. And finally, a little cotton wool ball, a bit of spit, and a tiny bit of polish. Oh, and while you're doing this, don't forget the insides. You want a nice new pair of insoles to go in them. Use the old ones you took out to cut the shape of the new ones. 
And as long as you followed all the instructions, you shouldn't have set fire to the shed. You should end up with something like this. And for anyone that don't think they're quite shiny enough, go back, give them another coat, and they'll look like this. That's it, people. I'm going to say bye for now. What more do you want? How many restorations do I have to do?